Hello everybody, this is the second tutorial of Plexa 3D software. This is the last example of a rigid raft foundation where we have modeled the, the foundation here as a volume element so we can treat any of the straining action acting on the raft foundation. Now we are going to save this project as I will make it tutorial P building and then I will write it as plate elements then hit save okay in this case the model is modified so that the basement consists of structural elements this allows us to calculate the structural strain in action acting on the foundation. The rest foundation is 50 cm sec concrete step by concrete beams. The side walls of the basement consist of 30 cm sec concrete. And then the loads are shown right here. This is the basement walls and this is the stiffness beams and this is the foundation the loads of the upper floor are transferred to the floor slab by a column here and the basement wall here okay the column B is a load of 11,650 kilonewton and the walls carry a line load of 385 kilonewton per meter run in addition, the floor slab here is loaded by 5.3 kPa. The properties of the clay here will be modified such as that the stiffness of the clay will increase versus the depth. Okay, we can hit here to define the material. We can delete this material and this one too. Okay, then we are in tutorial 1P. If you open here, edit, the only things are different here the E increment is 500 kilonewton per meter square per meter that means that each one meter here we will increase the youngest models by 500 kilo kPa okay we have to double click on here for the borehole you will see that the material is not assigned because I have deleted it apply hit ok then proceed to structures we have created the foundation building as the foundation of the building as a volume so now we are going to model it as a structural element here walls and the foundation and we will draw a column here ok so you can click in, right click, decompose into surfaces. Then you have the top surface which will be deleted. The volume we don't need in it anymore. And this side of the walls. And this side of the wall. Because we are starting on one, only one quarter of the problem. Now you can choose the floor, right click here, create plate, and you can choose the wall for multiple selection, press control and continue pressing, right click, create plate, ok, we don't have assigned any material for this plate, so we will have here to the 
material tab but this time it's not the soil and interfaces it's plates basement floor and basement wall you can see here if you hear it it just demands the D which is 50 centimeter and the gamma and the E okay you can hit okay and the basement wall a 30 meter in sec okay hit okay then press here you can assign material from here it's the basement floor and I will select that then I will press control button on the keyboard then I select this right click here you can assign material from there to plate oh plate seat material and choose it or you can from here it's the basement floor okay and then we have a column right here four six comma six comma zero for this point and six comma six comma minus two for this point okay create line not just a line it's it's not a geometric face it's create beam six six and zero six six and minus two okay we have drawn our column then we have the stuff beams here and here for the first point it's six and zero and zero and six and six and zero and eighteen okay six zero zero six eighteen zero aha uh -huh, it's on um, z to minus two and the z here is minus two also okay that is the first beam second beam a zero six zero and eighteen six zero I'm sorry it's minus two and minus two this is the second beam we haven't assigned any material for column or beam so we'll press show material it's not played it's beams this time we have the basement beam and basement column you can hear it here you have to see that it requires the material and the gamma and E okay I have to assign it you can choose the column here I'm sorry you can right click beam one set material basement column and you can select here press beam set material basement beam okay let's assign our loads we have a okay we have point load here for 11,630 kilonewton over the head of the column you can press here and right click create point load drop down the list 11650 okay. and we have line load here and line load here of 385 Okay. Don't modify the dynamic line load. 
it's a static 385 choose the another line node we have just the surface load remains here right click create surface load drop down the list minus 5.3 the negative sign is the inverse z direction okay now we have loaded our structure let's proceed to mesh course meshes view the mesh okay it's somehow refined here hit close water level tab is skipped stage construction delete the apply building we will make some of construction stages here okay hit here at first we will excavate the, for the soil excavation phase and then we will build the floor I'm sorry we will build the walls then we will build the floor and its beams and column then we will apply the load it's the loading okay initial phase will not modify anything let's go to the excavation in the soil tab drop down list we have excavated here and we will apply the, the walls at once so the plates plate one this is the floor no we will apply the walls okay you can delete this and then we will here apply the floor and we will apply the beams okay then proceed to loading phase we will add the surface load and the point load and the line load now we are ready to calculate let's execute the calculation phase hit here to the calculate ignore it we will continue after the calculation is done okay the calculation of just finished press view calculation results you can choose from here the phase you want to see okay we can also display the deformations and we can display the effective stress in z direction and so on let's proceed to some new patterns here and options you can hide the soil press in here then press the shift button on the keyboard keep pressing and then left click on here it's hide okay and now we can take a cross section for first point is zero and six this is a longitudinal cross section from here you can take another cross section from this point 
you can press shift to not freely move just move it like that okay forgive about this elements this is the section property you can also double double click on here and we can view viewpoint top view then close we can view the moment right now it's m1 one this is the m one two shear forces normal forces and so on you can also view the displacements and so on here we have a big displacement here so in the next tutorial we are going to apply some piles under our raft to reduce this displacement thank you for watching see you in the next video